Welcome back to TLV Talks. I'm your host Rashmi. Today, we're going to cover three levels of a human consciousness. Did you ever think of a person and receive a call from that person the very next second? Did you ever experience a strong feeling that someone dear is not well and you called in to check and you find them unwell? Did you experience something you wanted very badly and just then your spouse gave it to you without knowing your need? Well, these are all emanating signals from the heart mind space. Call it telepathy or sixth sense. We are all connected to each other through our hearts into an infinite consciousness. Let us take a closer look into the three levels of human consciousness. Consciousness is the most chosen topic of study and research for philosophers, metaphysicists, neurobiologists and psychoanalysts. We have the three levels of human consciousness, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind and the superconscious mind. Let's talk about the conscious mind. Conscious mind is the first level of awareness. It holds the thoughts and perceptions of our immediate experience. It is the place where critical thinking, logical reasoning, decision making come to play. It is operated by our willpower, but has great influence by the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is the second level of awareness. It is a storehouse of all our past experiences and impressions we have gathered throughout our life. This is where our beliefs, values, habits or addictions are stored. We can reprogram our subconscious mind through our conscious mind by practicing affirmations and visualization techniques we can change our mindset habits breaking self-limiting and self-sabotaging belief systems the unconscious mind it is the deepest part of the subconscious mind it is the reservoir where our deepest fears hidden memories repressed emotion instincts deep urges impulses get stored which we might not be consciously aware of the renowned psychoanalyst sigmund freud believed that the unconscious mind is inaccessible and sometimes unexpectedly surfaces as in dreams or sudden reflexes the study of unconscious mind and its influence on our behavior has been an important tool in treating psychological problems have you ever experienced the moment in life when you arrived at a solution at work after days of no luck just one morning you wake up with this breakthrough idea or a brilliant hack while taking a shower or on a vacation well tapping into unconscious mind awakening the creative genius sitting right inside you gives you so much joy and sudden burst of epiphany research has confirmed ancient wisdom when it comes to creative breakthroughs it's better to relax and let the unconscious mind do the work your subconscious mind has access to infinite intelligence when it is in harmony it communicates to you through great ideas impulses and urges the more you tune into it you will be able to hear the inner voice the creative genius sitting right inside you ready to empower you such stream of ideas come in when you're relaxed and not when you're stressed at work this is great news for the corporate employers to be mindful of super conscious mind is a state of exalted consciousness this is beyond subconscious this is a place where you can tap into higher wisdom stronger intuition and open up to higher awareness of absolute clarity the great spiritual leader swami vivekananda beautifully explained 
consciousness as a mere film between the two oceans the subconscious and the superconscious to reach superconscious humans have to take a long journey inwards through meditation from the unconscious to the conscious and ultimately to the superconscious when this superconscious state is reached man becomes free and divine revered kamlesh d patel who's leading the heartfulness movement and the fourth spiritual guide of sahaj mark system of raja yoga meditation in his series about evolution of consciousness expands our understanding and says as we evolve our consciousness expands in both subconscious and superconscious realms traveling through vast infinity of human potential he further explains how our subtle bodies the mind the intellect the ego and the consciousness evolves and go beyond the human level to divine level as we meditate and deepen our practice to regulate the mind our subtle bodies also evolve i highly recommend you all to read the evolution of consciousness series by daji i will leave the link in the description below time and again spiritual masters have been teaching how to tap into higher states of consciousness by doing meditation chanting or prayer all our forms where we rest our thoughts on divine and let go slowly the mind stops chatter and we sink into this absorbed state of bliss inner stillness or samadhi complete oneness with the divine and we shift into a higher consciousness more you meditate and deepen your practice you will be able to hold the condition for longer duration as you go further you will be able to access higher realms of superconsciousness at will this is when one receives great wisdom visions creative art forms inspiration for poetry great revelations and discoveries our ancient scriptures and all great works were truly downloaded from such superconscious states this is how the great saints and spiritual masters operate with boundless wisdom now the question arises can we access such higher states of consciousness absolutely we can we can truly access such states of consciousness with diligent spiritual practice and willingness to purify ourselves from inside out as a trainer from heartfulness i would like to take this opportunity to suggest you all to try heartfulness meditation here's the link for master classes for the first 3 introductory sessions you can access them online at your convenience i will leave the information for the links in the description below thank you for watching tlv talks please like subscribe and share with your friends and family see you next time bye bye